Hello, people. This is the final segment of my walkthrough. For this, you want to equip Just A's bracelet and Maxim's bracelet. Kill off the bloody glove. Trust me, you won't miss. You won't miss the stuff you equipped. This this is a very interesting um, thing I noticed in playing this game. You'll actually take less damage when fighting against Maxim wearing these. Huh? And the cast was 200% complete. Lovely, no? We've done everything in this game except get the best ending. I'm not going to read this again because I already did that, and you really, really don't want to hear me do that twice, do you? Of course not. So, I'm going to wait till we get to the fight, and the fight's not going to be any different until the fight ends. Then there'll be a difference. But, that's when the fight ends. If you hear something in the background, I apologize. When he hits me, he does like half damage now. So he's not quite as dangerous as he used to be. Shin the Yuni! What? How'd you get back there? Stop. Ah, uh, that that bracelet you wore it for me. Uh, -huh. Maxim, is that you? Uh, why? Why do you still live within me? I thought you were dead. Remember, Maxim, you're stronger than this. Yeah, you're right. But compared to the training we had, this is nothing. Why? Why can I not free myself of you? Because I choose not to free you. Just stay, finish me off! Ugh, this is a strong magic at work. The, the remains. As long as I have this power, I have no need for this body. Here, have it! Ah! Hmm, I'm not stable, but your blood will once again make me whole. Take it, if you can. Do not underestimate the power of Belmont. Okay. Let us begin, then. I will enjoy destroying you. It's a Dracula Wraith. It's, Dra it's Dracula in an incomplete form. Simon also fought Dracula as a Wraith, except he looked kind of like, you know, the Grim Reaper, which was weird. Alright. The Dracula Wraith, you can only hurt it by hitting, it, hitting him in the head. And he comes with Dracula's two classic attacks. But you can see he's incomplete because he has no lower body. Yeah, he's very much incomplete. But yeah, this is Dracula. No, wait. But, of course, Dracula has a transformation. Which is incomplete as well. And it's ugly. Look at this thing. Alright. Remember that thing I told you? Pop a medicine jar and get behind him. You are now safe from just about everything he does. The only way he'll hurt you is if he touches you. You ever notice that attack hits him twice, making it extremely cheap. And then you can just whip him to death. Yeah, you don't even have to stand in front of him. If you do choose to fight him the right way, then you'll have to put up with him shooting the laser out of his eye every now and then. I told you so. Do not underestimate the power of my bloodline. So, so this is the power of Belmont. Vile spawn of Maxim, you are not worthy of being my opponent. I will now fade from this world, but I find some pleasure in this. His voice changed, yeah. But the, but the cursed powers of yours, destiny calls you to hunt for all eternity. And yeah, it is cursed. Oh look, here's the final orb, just to let you know. 
But yeah, Leon Belmont, he cursed his, uh, he cursed his family to hunt down his best friend forever. Until his best friend finally ceased to be. And when his best friend finally was gone, he reincarnated. I'm not gonna read this scene either. I wonder if you can hear the background noise. Maybe you can't. I wonder though. You might be able to hear it. Just it's a tiny little background sound. So you hold your so if your volume is low enough, you won't actually hear it. Ho 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 ho. But yeah, this is the best ending. And for those of you who get emotionally attached to things easily, this should this should cheer you up quite well compared to the worst ending and the good ending. Even though both endings are technically kind of kind of bad endings. <laughs> but that's the thing about a good ending. It's always incomplete. You got the main part done so you get the main prize, but there's always something missing. Is in like you wish you could have just done more. But it's cool though. Hmm. <laughs> Watch how fast this girl can get up. And this is actually Lydia's theme, I think, that's playing right now. It's the pro epilogue music. <laughs> you know, looking at her from this angle, she doesn't look so much like a maid anymore. Just a girl in a black dress. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if she got married to one of them. And it's the final time you get to watch the credits roll. Enjoy it. But it is not all I have for you. Don't think the fun ended there. Because... I know if you got the best setting, then you unlocked everything else. You unlocked the sound test, and you unlocked boss rush mode. Boss rush mode is self-explanatory. It's you get to fight all the bosses in the game. However, you start off, you get easy easy difficulty for boss rush. Then you beat it, you get normal, beat it, and then you get hard. Which doesn't change how much damage you take, it just changes how many bosses you get to fight against. And by doing hard mode you face Dracula at the end. And you know it's pretty cool. Also, at the Konami screen when it shows Konami, push Enter the Konami code, which was up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. And then what happens is, when the screen comes up, it's going to be blue instead of red. And when you go to do boss rush mode, when you start playing, you're going to be Simon Belmont. And this is when I score for boss rush, the time I got, which, it's kind of slow. But it's okay, because I did it, and that's all that matters. Ha 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 ha. I did all of it with Simon. And in the sound mode, which, all the different tracks in the game, all the background music in the game. They got Skeleton Cave and the... And that other thing mixed up. Aqueduct of Dragons. L Ranger, that's her last name. This plays when you... Ch when, when you play a Simon, it plays this. But you're not gonna listen to the whole thing. But it's my favorite track in the whole game. After I heard it, I was like, oh yeah, this is the good stuff. So that's it. Yeah. Not. I have a couple things more to show you, actually. But, I like looking at this. This is pretty cool. It would've been a great way to end it, I know. The same way it started, but... <sighs> but I got a couple things to show you before, you, before we're done. For people who want to keep playing the game, enter in hard game to play hard mode. It's a challenge, trust me. Or do this. This one. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't done this yet because I just really didn't feel like it. And you play as Maxim! 
the stellar sword and everything. He has triple jump and he has he has all sorts of abilities. I mean, I had to look them up to actually figure out what they all figure out what all of them are. You get to do just look it up because I don't remember, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. Also, if you stand still for a while, I want to stand still up here, and after a while he's going to he's going to face the background, not the foreground, the background. It's pretty cool. That I end. Goodbye.